this video, I'm going to show you how we play a great game for adding three or four single digit numbers. This game is called Rows and Columns, so let's go! I'm Leanne and I've taught kids for almost 20 years. I help parents have fun while teaching their kids the skills that they need. So if this is something that you're interested in, consider subscribing. Make sure to check out the description box below where I'll post the links to any of the games that I mentioned in this video. Now this game works best for two players. You only need a deck of Uno numeral cards or the playing cards without the faces. Shuffle the deck and lay the cards face up in a 4x4 array. The rest of the cards form a draw pile to the side. On your turn, check each row or column for two or more cards that make up the total of 15. That's our target number. If you find them, remove them from the array and put them in your collection. 8 and 2 is 10. 10 and 5 is 15. Very good. You can continue finding any number of cards that will make up 15. 8 and and two is ten, and one and four is five. Okay, so do you want to take four, or do you want to take two? Play passes to the next player when you can find no more cards that make up fifteen. There are three things you should know about this game. This game is an excellent game for regrouping practice and practicing all the mental addition strategies that we talked about previously in this video. Or better yet, check it down in the links below after this since I have more tips on this game. You can also use this game with kids who are learning their number bonds of 10. Have them find card sums which make 10 instead of 15. Any six here? Yeah. So you can take these two. That's it. Five and five. Yes. Yeah. And this is a good way also to introduce kids to this game if they have those facts down and are just learning to play the game for the first time. That way they don't have to spend time thinking about which numbers go together to make the target and just learn about the gameplay. Once they are familiar with making the target number of 15, you can pick any larger target number instead. Either name? Yes. Not like this. Take all? Yes. Make sure to keep playing this game a few times so kids get used to adding the numbers within the rows or the columns and not from randomly across the array. When they get used to that, they'll be able to focus on ways to make the target number you have determined. We play another addition game with a similar layout that I call IC10 and that game allows kids to find cards from anywhere in that array. That means sometimes my students need some trial runs to remember to stay within the rows or the columns to find this target. If you want to see more about IC10, make sure to check it out in the links below or at the end of the video. Or check out other videos listed in the description box on using games to teach kids and I can't wait to see you in a future one.